Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to dye your scooter wheels. Alright, first thing you're going to need, red dye, any color. I'm dyeing mine red. Yeah. Measuring cup. And obviously a stainless steel dish. And a stove. You need a stove. Alright, so I'm going to put on my stove. Oh yeah, I also gonna need paper towels. Because... Grab some paper towel. Alright. So, I got my paper towel too. Paper towel. Alright, so I'm bringing you over here to my sink. You need uh, two to three cups of water. I start out with two, and if that doesn't dissolve down, then I'll put another cup in. Alright. So, any water on? Fill up. The first cup is obviously going to be exact. There's one cup. Two cups. Actually, I probably need three. Maybe even four, actually. The instructions on the thing, I think, were wrong. Because they said, they said three. Two to three. But I think it's more than that. Yeah, I just put four. And if it doesn't work, this stuff's cheap. I think it was a dollar twenty-nine. All right. So I'm bringing it over to your stove. Bring it over to your stove. Uh, right front. Keep it at a steady boil. And as soon as it's boiling, you pour your dye in. So once that's boiling, I'll be back. Once you have your water at almost a boil, it doesn't have to be at a boil. Once it's almost at a boil, um, oh yeah, one other thing, you have to tape your wheels off if you have bearings, but otherwise you don't have to. Alright, once it's almost at a boil, uh, take your writ, make sure it's all at the bottom before you open it, and rip, rip the top wire right off. Alright. Make sure I'm zoomed out all the way. There, I wasn't even zoomed out all the way. Alright, then. Just. Oh, mine's pretty good at boiling now. Let it. Let your water sit for a couple seconds. Let the steam get out of the way and everything. Alright, then. Be very careful. And pour it in your dye. If you have red, I guess it looks pretty cool. Alright. Just throw this away. You don't need that. Alright, then you're gonna need something to stir it with. You can use a screwdriver. I found a nail and wrench faster than I could find a screwdriver, so. Then just stir it up. Mine is like. Blood, blood red. Alright, that's when you're going to need your paper towel. Once you get this all dissolved in here, where you, on the bottom you can't fit, it stinks. And that heads you up on that. It smells really super duper bad. Alright, then you just want to take this paper cloth, paper towel, stick your, whatever your stir tool is. It's actually a really sweet red. I like it. Like dyed the top of my own wrench. Alright, just set your stirring tool aside. Actually what you need that. Actually. You can use tongs. Just make sure you get them cleaned off right away. Actually they're probably even stainless, but I don't want to take a risk because I'm not sure. So tongs. Alright, so take your tongs. Drop your wheel in. I can only do like one at a time, but if you have a bigger pot and pan, pot, I mean, if you have a bigger pot, you can obviously fit your other wheel in. Alright, I'm going to rinse this off because I'm not sure if it's stainless or not. I don't feel like getting in trouble.
All right. Keep your tongs. Um, so it shouldn't take long. Just take, stir it around a little bit. Take your tongs and see if you got around the whole wheel. I'm gonna flip mine just in case. Try not to let it splash. Go rinse these off again. You're gonna need even more. You need even more paper towels for when you take your wheels out. So. So get your paper towel ready. You're gonna need it a little bit thick because this stuff will bleed through and it will stain easily. All right, so yep, just take your wheel out. Oh, my tape didn't even work, so my bearings are gonna be kind of wet, but no biggie. All right. Yeah, I guess the tape didn't even help, I guess. It just kind of fell off. But I'm going to leave my other tape on just for safety. Alright. Now, I'm going to turn you off and I'll be right back. Alright, so now, you're going to need to get your wheel out of the paper towel. I'm just going to peel my tape off. You're going to want better tape than this. <laughs> I guess. Just rinse your wheel off. There you have it. There's my new red wheels. Alright, thanks for watching. Just do that to your other wheel and you'll be set. Bye. Hey, I'm just going to show you the difference in color. Here's my red one. Here's what they were before. They used to be orange. I think they look really good. For the price, you don't have to buy new wheels if you get a different color scheme. Scooter or anything. Alright, see ya.